What is up, guys? It's time for gaming. Aid. This is another FPS mo increase or um, boost, whatever you want to call it. For f this time, it's not for Fortnite. It's for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. I suppose it's for Warzone Zombies as well. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but there was some. Um, basically. This one you don't have to customize any of the settings. Okay, what you just do is launch Call of Duty. The high am right now. Launch it. As you can see my um Razor Cortex app is working. <clears throat> Uh, okay, um, <laughs> okay, um, my month always does that to restart. Damn it. Mm-hmm. So this here would actually help you with um not just to get better FPS and lower graphics. This will actually help you to increase your graphics as well because because uh, it's just a it's just how it is. And this, um, certain so only was recently f made or recently fixed, I'm pretty sure. I think that was there before, but it never, it didn't work. Now, oh, come on, game, stop. Of course, um,. Sorry about this, guys. <sighs> Damn it. Fuck is that one?
Right, sorry about that, Those um, One that does sh If you guys have a PC and yours does the same thing as mine, it's a shader pack. It literally makes your frames down so low. It's, you guys can see it's 60 right now, so it's what well, it's set to. So, if you guys are... So you need to see right there. It, it was complete. If you don't use a, a donut to the settings, I recommend doing it in a pro match, not an actual game. But before you even join the game, <clears throat> well, what I did was make sure you got full screen exclusive on. Then set your screen hertz at the maximum. Of what your monitor monitor can do, 1080p. I tapped that to auto, but <clears throat> I got this on same as for Fortnite. I got on boost. Um, I got that to low consumption. Make sure you do that to a hundred percent. You can, if you guys can see right there, the tearing in the screen, and I got that to fifty. Custom settings. I got the gameplay FPS to one eighty. That's the same hertz as my monitor, but um, I don't know if you want that to three hundred, but I'm just gonna do that for. This, I might say it back to 240. Pause game rendering. I'm actually not sure if you should do that. Stop rendering the 3D scene to display a black stream. Pause. Uh, I'm gonna take that. But when I, uh, when I first did this, I turned, <coughs> I turned HDR on and ray tracing. But to that started with this um make sure your resolution is um 100 that's if you a 10 1080p monitor dynamic resolution um i took that off sorry better here upscaling and shape um sharp sharpening so even if you do not have an amd uh, I had I had an Nvidia in Arco. Set it to AMD F FSR three point And then um, go down here. Turn this one on. If you can do see right there, increase frame rates by creating additional frame computed from assist in inputs. I don't just set the performance, but if you guys are uh, Performance in Ultra, I never tried Ultra myself, but between these two, I couldn't um, want to try that because if you guys don't get too many good FPS with this, like if you get 160 and if you're fine with it, then stay with it. But if you get um, lower than 160, you should probably try balance to balance the performance in that. Ray Trace, I don't that off, but. Uh, it's up to you guys. Want on? I turned it off because I want to get the most FPS at ten. Make sure this is set to ninety percent. As you guys can see, I got everything here pretty much set to high. When I played normally, um, called you the last streams and that I had them set to low. No, not low normal. I didn't have these settings on. Feel the death. You guys did see why I got that off. On, you can just make the pictures more blurry, but if you have it off, that's very really up to you. It doesn't blur out the people or um, the things you're looking at. I guess that with the blur, it also makes you get more FPS because you're not looking at all these that difference. Now, I got this set to high. high. See, I had to set them to. Oh, those ones are set to high, but I had to set these ones. I thought maybe I had to turn them on up. Um, bullet impact, I'll throw that on because I like to see the bullet holes. 
I got this one off. Um, <clears throat> so, draw visual effects when explosion, explosions and div, div lad, um, <laughs> but uh, the, the little pieces, I think it, when you hit with a grenade and you're not dead, it makes your screen all uh, messed up. I got shaders set to high on stream demand on demand texture stream and turn that off because it uses your internet more. I got that down to low even when I top this off, but you should do the same. High I to set them to ultra and that but high is good enough. Especially if you guys are playing I thought this one set to Neve, so I guess that the more better visual when you get closer, whether to normal or I know that. I thought this to 95. You guys might have to change these. Besides motion blur, you'll want to have wipe the motion blur off, especially when you have it shown you look like that and you look like that. You definitely want that. Same as actual motion blur you want to turn those off because say if you look inside side blurry especially when it's a dark place you're not gonna be able to make sure you turn this down to zero percent film green i had this up to um max and i don't know if you guys can see that but maze it made mostly every game i played so fuzzy and inverted flash um, flash bend dot that off so so I don't know which one it actually does I think it does that one there so you can see more better than that I'm actually not sure how it works if it off is there and that's on I don't know um, set this to 60 because you want to you want to actually be able to have solid 60 FP yeah, so you see my GP is at fifty six percent hit. Why you should play and record or even play it's like around seventy and from what I know that's like normal. See so how much FPS I'm doing right now? Two hundred mostly. Also it's a black zone, so let's wait until it loads. But that frame year was just then, and that was my game. That was um the matter of of my camera and recordings. I'm done one eighty, but that's because I'm recording. But I might set this to just 240 because, uh, because of uh, um, everything. Especially when you look up. It does go past 240, but um. Everything. So I hope this, I hope this helps you guys. If you guys want to um make every sense up to the highest and you want to have ray tracing on i'm not having that on because you have to restart the app and all of that and each time you change the settings i'm pretty sure you have to you just have to do that uh do the shaders pack thing and it takes a long time but as you see um right now i'm not 120 but 200 is uh, more maximum I did when I'm pretty much um, when I'm recording. Definitely much more from 116 when I was recording and playing and like 140 when I played. And I got higher graphics now too. <clears throat> so I 
So if this helped you, leave a like, subscribe, and um, comment. Hope this helps you. I don't know how long this is going to be here for. It'll probably stay there, but they'll probably not make it. Um, they'll change it probably. Hopefully not. So I'm not gonna keep on making different videos. Maybe even for GTA. I'm not. I'm gonna try to find out if there's any better ways to the better FPS and that, because it helps me. So I thought I have thirty sixty RTX graphics card, what's twelve gigs of RAM, and all of that. And from compared to what I had before, it didn't really make me have much more better graph. Oh, it did do me better graphics, but it didn't really do me much better FPS. And I had the same settings as what I did. So this will be uploaded um a little later. I'll upload it and schedule it for a little later. And I was hoping that my chair would come, my new um chair, but nothing happened. So don't have to do a refund and rebuy it. It's pissing me off because I had to wait a whole week and then nothing even came. Now then I refund. You have to wait a couple more days, and because today is um. Today is a Saturday. The money won't go back until probably Tuesday to Thursday, but a couple of days after. Within a couple of days, I'm not sure if it can work with a weekend, but. And I have to order a new chair, then a whole chair, then and then I have to wait another whole week, pretty much. One of the reasons why I'm not playing as much because the chair literally hurts my back playing like this. But I hope you guys, um, hope it's helped you guys. There are some settings that you should change from mine if yours, uh, I don't remember what it was, but if you don't, hey, uh, A lot of um and computer or something that they change something not this but um I think maybe you do it one I'm not sh I'm not really sure but this is gonna be the end of the video.